right, so problem number seven. Let's see. D C. Okay, so it's checking this function here. I'm returning that. Okay, so let's copy at least what I can copy. So, and we are going to, okay, so we're going to start with a new list. So, so equal to this. Okay, I've got my little dots and a set of scopes. So. All right, so we'll have a new list. Empty and then for item and L. So if not, this is assuming that function. So just grab this function. Uh, let's do that. So, Um, so it is define a first return a and that's okay. So define so if it's not true. Okay, so if this is not true, yeah, it does not like my indications here. Of course it doesn't. Um, so it off. Uh, expected and indented block. Oh goodness. Um, So, so this doesn't get so confused. And it's probably just going to close that, but whatever. We'll just add it in a separate cell. Um, so, define FS. So, okay. So then if this isn't true, append. So we're basically just admitting the item that we chose in that function. At least that's what I understand from the instructions. Doesn't like this F. Uh, let's see. F is not defined. It's going to care, but we will put out here. There you go. Okay. And now we're going to make a new list. So this is where our mutation will happen. And all right. Uh, 
turn. Oh. Okay. I'm going to use this new block. Let's see, there is. I can't copy that far enough. Define run satisfies F. So define satisfies. And it is going to take in and satisfy that. to print and I'm going to add another cell for this last part which is my running results okay can I copy this at least no of course not let's see so run satisfies Oh, okay. Made my list. But uh, yeah, so run satisfies. Okay. Um, let me my list L above this. The run satisfies. Okay, I spelled. Um, there we go. So I don't know what. Just for fun. Do that. And, right. and BC is our output. And that is exactly what we wanted. And that should do it. That one kind of seemed a little easier than the other ones. Um,